guys. Today let's set up MD Emu. This is an emulator for the Sega Genesis aka Mega Drive. It also emulates the Master System aka Mark III and the Sonic CD. So let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is go down to options, open that, go to GUI and then let's change the font size to something bigger so we can see it better on our television there we go that's a lot bigger let's go back and let's go to key gamepad input setup now I'm using an Amazon Fire TV controller you can use a regular Bluetooth controller so you'll need to go down and find your device in the list here so mine is the Amazon Fire TV Fire Game Controller. So I'm going to select that. Yours may be branded, it may have some numbers here, but you should be able to find it. So let's select our controller. And we're on player one, as you can tell at the top there. Let's go down, <clears throat> set in-game actions. Let's unbind all, say yes. Let's go to open menu and set that to our R3 button or pushing in the right analog stick. And let's go to fast forward and set that to our right trigger or R2 button. Now you can set these to anything you want. This is just what I like to use. So let's go back now and let's go to set gamepad keys. Okay, we're going to select up and then press up on our directional pad. Right press right on the directional pad, down, down on the directional pad, left, left on the directional pad. You don't want to mess with these. So let's go down. Mode is like your select button. So let's select that. I'm going to set that to my back button. If you have a select button, use that. So start will be my menu button. Again, if you have a start button, just use that. Okay, A, B, and C. The original controllers had three buttons, so this looks right. We want X to be A, A to be B, and B to be C. Now you can set X, Y, and Z if you want. The controls that are in there are fine. You don't use those on mini games though. And I think that's all we need here, so let's go back. Let's go back again, and one more time. And now let's go to load game. And we'll tell the emulator where our ROMs folder is. So for me, that's going to be in the downloader folder. It may be in the download folder for you, or wherever you save those to. So I'm going to select downloader, and I'm going to select Sega Genesis and Master System. My folder has both sets in there. So I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to select a game here. Let me just pick a game. I'm going to test my controls here and make sure they work. So I'm going to press start. Fast forward's working, as you can see there, it's going pretty fast. The pause works. The controls seem to work. Not very good at this game. But yeah, that's working. So I'm going to press in my right thumbstick or R3, and that brings me back to the menu. Now I can press back and go down and select exit. And now all my controls will be saved and the emulator will remember my folder of games there. So I can go back in there, load game, and there are all my games. Now one more thing about this, if you would like to play Sega CD games with this, You'll need to go into, I believe it's in the options, and system. Okay, US CD BIOS. I have that saved in my folder, so let's select that. Select file. 
and then you'll see it right there the BIOS BIOS so let's select that and now that's set so now you can load bin and Q files into your games folder they have to be bin and Q they cannot be ISO and you'll want to select the Q file when you play a CD game so just drag the bin and Q files into your ROMs folder for Sega and then open the bin file when you want to play a CD game. Now I recommend putting those on an external device like a USB stick or an SD card as they're pretty large files so I don't recommend putting those on internal storage especially on fire sticks. I'll fill it up quick. So now let's go back and we can exit and that will save our changes. So there you go guys. There's MDMU, Sega Genesis Simulator. Hope this helps. Happy gaming.